Mark. Yeah, she was on earlier. So I have no excuse to be nervous. <laughs> The purpose of my speech is to understand people. Let's take a look at the statistics. Y'all have seen this before. Right? Half, about half the people get divorced. Now, since I don't know any, most of y'all, I'm rather new. It gives me an opportunity to pick on you guys. I want to hear from you guys. Because this is the only time that you're going to say something. The rest of it, it's all me. I want you guys to tell me some reasons people divorce. Volunteers? Got one. Okay, yes. Incompatibility. Incompatibility. Good. You, sir. I'm still single. <laughs> <laughs> all these issues. I'm about to talk to you about this statistics come from the government. Now, people on the lower divorce, lower divorce rate, and the people on a higher divorce rate. Now, what would a person, a physician, or an actuary, or clergy would say, let's have this communication. Okay. Let's say I'm an actuary. I'm asking a nurse or the flight attendant, hey, why don't you be a doctor? Or hey, be an actuary like me. What would the flight attendant, nurse, would say? Uh, nurse would say, I have a wife. You know, actuaries take five years to take their exams. They go to work 40 hours, and then they study another five hours every day. They don't have no life. The actuary would say, yeah, but, yeah, I guess I don't have a life. <laughs> it's what people value. And that don't change. Don't change much. How much do you value happiness? The nurse, the flight attendant, the bartender, they value happiness. In some extremes, go back to college, high school. You may have heard of, on one extreme, Someone who is, who values happiness. This person has been around, sleeping around, been around. Just rumors you hear. These people are stigmatized. They're given labels because they've been sleeping around too much. They're misunderstood. These people are on an extreme side of happiness. They value happiness so much that when they have friends, they want to make them happy. I want to be their friend too. We probably, well, my brother, he's not that promiscuous. 
but he values friendship over family. Happiness is what he values. Whereas some other people, like the physician, the actuary, they value something more long term. They're still happy, just not, not, on, the, uh, on, not on that extreme side of happiness. High happiness people, they're probably better off single. And they can date, they can have romance. But as for a long term relationship, here's one thing. I'm not saying marry is good, single is good. I'm saying divorce is not good. That's what I'm saying. Now, this is happiness. How much do you value happiness? Here's another thing to consider, another metric. How caring are you? This is what I mean. Let me give you an example. You could be very caring to the extent where if you married someone, your spouse would be like, I thought he really cared about, I thought he or she really cared about me. You would go doubt yourself because he or she is treating some random person just as caring as they treated you. It makes you wonder, am I really that special person? These people, it's probably better off. If they, if they care too much, they'd be better off single because they're off to do a lot of humanitarian stuff. And there's another bucket of things, there's another bucket of things, uh, categories of people that I don't have time to put in be another speech. So I won't mention that, because I'm on yellow. <laughs> <laughs> My goal today is that I let you know that half of people, maybe more than that, are unhappy. And social expectations of getting married a lot of people get married. 90% of people get married. If you understand your loved ones, like my brother, I understand him. I thought he was getting a friend zone, but actually he was friend zoning other people. And I thought he wanted to get married, but he doesn't. He's happy making friends. And he just friends on later one. So if you understand your loved ones, what they value, you will understand them better. Toastmaster?